Let's hit the question that nobody's asked, but that I know everybody has, and I think it's kind of like it's it's out there, and it, it gets talked about a lot. And that is, you know, what is the, really the future of independent claims, right? So, what's the future of our industry? You know, the the, the essence of what we do is that the carriers are not going to staff all the people that they need to handle huge catastrophes, right? So, or even, you know, even like doing daily claims in certain areas. Um, so right now they rely on independent adjusters, which is us, right? They, and we're, we're professional trained, licensed people who go and take care of their, their insurance for them. There's been a lot of talk lately you know, over the past two or three, four years about technology taking away our jobs, right? So we're going to get automated out of the thing. You know, the insurer is going to be on FaceTime on their phone with the desk adjuster. And I'm going to be honest with you, that a little bit of that is actually happening. I was a staff adjuster at Liberty Mutual for a year, and they said, Matt, if you can handle it over the phone, do it, right? You don't, if you don't need to go out in the field, um, just take care of it. You know, if you, if you need to FaceTime with the insured and, like, you know, let's get them, let's get them some money however we can. But while they may be taking away or we may see fewer of the little tiny claims like one section of fence blown down kind of thing that we get a lot of or we used to get a lot of where the insured is like just takes a picture of that and sends it to their desk adjuster they still can't insurers not getting on the roof and looking for hail damage right and the drone it's wind and that fence goes down somebody still needs to get on that roof. so i mean you're right exactly so i mean it's you know but you get the point i mean it's it's little tiny little small little bitty claims um they, we may not see all those, um, but that doesn't mean that they still don't need a trained, licensed person. The carriers, especially having carrier experience myself, on the inside, on the other side, the number one thing, the number one metric that they work, that they that they emphasize at all times is customer retention, customer service, right? So the, the NPS scores and net promoter score, you know. After every single claim that they do, they send out a two-question questionnaire to every insured, a survey. You know, how willing, how, how likely are you on a scale of one to ten to recommend Safeco to your friends and family? That's all they want to know, right? <laughs> QA is going to go out and they might like, you know, double check your measurements and everything. But for them, from the insured, they want to know if they're going to stay and if they're going to, rec- if they're going to, they're going to refer, right? They know, the carriers know that the absolute best customer service experience that they can possibly have is to have a trained, licensed person come to their house with a smile on their face who's able to answer all their questions right there. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. You know, as a matter of fact, the answer to your question is this. Be able to scope the damage, make a coverage decision, write them a check, hand them a check, and say, you're all done. If you have any questions, call me, and I will answer the phone. If I have to come back out, I will come back out. Not... Somebody in board shorts with a drone, or somebody just walking up who's you know was a roofing contractor the day before, or delivering deliver pizza or whatever. Not that there's anything wrong with those things. Who shows up and says, "I'm just here to do this to your house, right?" And then you'll just have to call your your desk adjuster. I don't have his number, but you just you know you probably have some people. That's carriers are going to lose customers if they try to do that. And I think they found out that they they did lose a few customers because they some companies really pushed that out pretty heavy in the last over the last couple of years and it didn't work out the way they wanted to we're not going anywhere we're not going anywhere and you know when i did matt you've actually been in it a little bit longer than i have even but when i got started my mentor told me every five years the industry is going to change oh yeah there is some guy at a big insurance company sitting in an ivory tower somewhere with a calculator and he's like, oh, if we do this, we're going to save this much money. And so that will go through that entire insurance company. They will spend millions and millions of dollars for the new, just like you said, the new phone. Here, take a picture of this, right? And that's what we're going to do. It's, it's going to be, all you're going to do is take photos. Somebody else is going to write the estimate. That's going to work for about a year and a half until the lawsuits start coming and they start losing customers. It already happened, yeah. It's going to shift backwards. Yep. I've seen it over and over and over again. A new idea is a new idea. Drones. 
right? Everybody had to have a drone. A drone. Oh, let me go spend fifteen hundred bucks. I need a drone because that. Oh, are they still going to use adjusters? Yes, they're still going <laughs> to use adjusters. Yeah. A drone cannot tell the insured how to expect a recoverable depreciation. Somebody needs to speak to them. Hey, hey, Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today. How are you doing? <laughs> okay. This is actually. Guy Grant from Veteran Adjusting School. So you want to learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And coming soon, detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos, ad-free. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Thank you.